Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for taking a look at this video. Uh, I'm gonna keep it quick and short and to the point. So if you have a video that you've loaded in the ProPresenter and you want it to start at a certain point or end at a certain point, um, you can do that uh, fairly easily inside of ProPresenter. You don't need to pull it into a video editing software and edit it and then render it and then re-pull it in. You can do it right inside of ProPresenter. Uh, so what you can do is if you have a video, so let's say this Love Choma video, uh, if you right click on it and go to media properties and then uh, if you look right here there's these the the playhead right here you can actually set this button where it says in that's the start you can set a new start point for the video essentially and then where this says out you can set an out point so let's say you play it you say play and you want it to cut i don't know uh, let's keep going. So, like right there. You can actually frame by frame edit back, and you can go to like right there and hit this out button. Now what that does is the video will end right there. So if we go through and test this, it starts to play, and we skip ahead, skip ahead, and you can't even, it doesn't even give you the option to play past that. So just let this go. It's just crazy to see the church, the global church, uh, at move here in Choma, and Zambia is somewhere that I will come back to again and again. And then it ends. So it's a slightly abrupt, um, but it's an easy way to cut the video uh, and have it automatically stop. Um, and then one other thing you could do is, so we have this logo right here. So what you could actually do is, since we know that this video is three minutes and 54 seconds. You could actually set a go to next timer right here, go to next, and put in that time. You can just do 230, oops, 234, done. So then what will happen is when you click this, it will play concurrently along, the timer will play concurrently along with the video. And when it gets to the end of the video, that timer, after that time period, it will automatically go to this next slide. Uh, it's a really slick way to kind of clean that up. Now, when two things to note. When you do this, you start a timer, you see this little red icon. That's showing that the timer is running. You can cancel it by just clicking on it, and it will go away. And then when it gets to the video, it will just end wherever it ends. Um, and then the other caveat to that is if you click this, it's two concurrent things running. So the timer and the video are playing together. So if you skip ahead in the video, it's not going to auto advance at the end of the video. Like you could literally leave it like this. Oops. Leave it like this and it would stop. And that timer is still running. So this will sit wherever it ends until that timer gets to that 234 seconds. Then it will go to the next slide. Uh, so it's just something to be aware of. Um, but hopefully that helps and, uh, yeah, leave a comment if you have any questions or comments or you, uh, know of a better way to do it. And, uh, yeah, thanks for taking the time to watch this video.